Hey, la la la. Welcome back, everybody. The Dashi Bass here, or with. A Sham Warrior. And we're bringing you yet another episode of. Diablo Trace. Oh boy, more. Did Terriel get, like, some makeover here? It looks like. You look a little different. About no. your fall. <laughs> That's a great thing to bring up. So, about the time you fucking failed. Well, yeah, I mean, like, he failed to protect Heaven and was kicked out by the other Archangels and thrown in there. And, uh, yeah. Cool, wanna talk about it? <laughs> wanna, wanna talk about the one thing that uh, kind of, like, was a deciding moment in your life? And absolutely destroyed everything you loved? Yeah. That's just, it's just a little bit of the, like, into your life. It's all yeah. good. Yeah. No big deal. Why must a door always bar our path? I'll lead you to the palace. I've been waiting for you to lead the way. Well, shit. Whoa, what's happening? Well, I feel like we. I feel like they did a freaking uh, time skip on us. This is not where we were. Are you sure? Yeah. Speak louder. Mmm. Mmm. She's running like a track race. What are they saying? Um, it says right there if you're in a. Oh, I can't read them literally. Oh, I. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, no, they're pointing things at us. Curse my illiteracy. I'm pretty sure- Oh no, we don't know what'll happen. Yeah. Ah, there were snakes happened. the whole time. They were gonna put us on trial, and it's gonna be, a, obviously, a fixed trial. A snake trial. A snack trial, a actually. A snack trial, mind you. Snickety snack trial. Remember, eat a snacker, if you're not you when you're hungry. Hmm. Snick, snack. Sever, snack. Where do we go? Uh, oh, down here. Apparently there's a gate behind us nice. that we failed to open for whatever reason. Oh no, we broke them. Oh no, we broke them too. <laughs> we broke the peoples. We broke the... Would these be Lamias? Or was there a specific name for these type of people? Uh, I have no idea. Half human, half snake? I think it's just Lamia. Although, normally Lamia are... Well, are these female? That's the question. They're just snake people. If they're female, I should add them to my harem. My non-existent hero. Secretly, I'm the MC of life. Actually, that's one thing. I actually, uh, um, I think we might have had this discussion before, but uh, we probably did. Yeah. But like, if life was just like a really clever story where everyone's their own MC and everyone's story just somehow interconnects with them at their own center. I want a new writer. You want a new writer? This, <laughs> this shit isn't working out for me. If someone, if someone was the person that wrote your life story. Who you, damn it! What happened? That was my fault. Oh. Damn it! I can't go back. Damn it! But um, so who do you think would have wrote your story? Her, wrote your story? Yeah. Um, who would have wrote my story? Uh, yeah. Who would be the mastermind behind the one that orchestrated your life? I'd like to think that whoever wrote my story is like an English major. An English major? But a really shitty English major. So, like, it's someone who wants to do really well and is trying to pursue their dream, but they're really not good at it, so they're the kind of person you have to break it to that, you, you know, you can't do what you want to because you're just not cut out for it. Yeah, but then, like, they might be, like, that type of person that, like, that, oh, that only t type of talk actually only motivates them to try even harder, but in the end, it's still just, like, a fruitless effort. Wait. Wait, is that the kind of person you want writing your life? No, I'm saying that's what's happening. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I thought that's what we were talking about. Well, like, you know, oh, yeah, you, yeah, wait, do you want to know what kind of person I would like to write my life? Um, well, we already covered one side, so let's cover that side too while we're at it. Mm, that is an excellent question. I want the guy who just left. Uh, was it Bungie? No, it was. Uh, it began with the letter B, the studio that made Mass Effect. Mass Effect? Bioware? Bioware. I want the guy who just left Bioware. I mean, like, if you want to quiz me on, like, uh, like, game companies, I can do that. But, like, if you want to quiz me on authors, <laughs> buddy, you need to find yourself a different mind. Yeah, he was the writer for uh, Andromeda, and I think, if oh. I am correct, he wrote the other ones, too. But, uh, yeah. Andromeda won't come out until 2017. I'm so sad. As in Andromeda, the... The next Mass Effect game. Uh, oh, yeah, because although the next Mass Effect game is says to uh, take place, like, several years after the events in the third. Um, it's going to have no connection to any yeah. of the characters or Shepard. But, like, timeline-wise. Like in timeline, yes, I think it's quite a few years ahead. Okay. So, I'm not um, sure what the exact number was, but... Yeah, I totally won't understand any of it regardless, so I can play a drama and be totally guilt-free. Nice. You never played the other Mass Effect games. I'm so mad. Ah, you, you know what? You know what? Uh, maybe I'll finish. Uh, uh, I could. 
um, do like a trilogy thing or something. Yeah, you should do that. Actually, because Although... they're just such good games, especially with all the DLC. I was gonna say like maybe I should do uh, Mass Effect for my uh, my extra live stream for 2016. I realized those games are extremely fucking long, or at least just the way I like to play things. Um, when I played Mass Effect 3 for the first time, um, it took me about 26 hours to complete. Yeah, see that's more than 24 hours and I have in a day, so. <laughs> I want to. I want to have the stream that's a little more variety. Oh, speaking of which, um, do you? Th well, I guess it also kind of depends on how our our rooming is next year. But um, would you like to participate in the uh, extra live stream? Sure. No. I'll throw you? down with you. Yeah. Then I can uh, perhaps stay awake. Oh, damn. Stay awake a little easier. Oh, we just have to go back. We can stay, I can stay awake easier and I don't have to worry about like falling asleep while playing the game somehow. Honestly, like no matter how many times I say it, it's just so very... How did I just now got that? <laughs> well... Wait, I don't get it? No. You know, you guys didn't see, uh, you didn't get to see it, but uh, I received a trophy for something I should have gotten a long time ago, which means I somehow skipped this part? Wait, why don't I get it? I want I trophies. Know. Screw you. You don't get trophies. Ooh, just quit dropping books. Treat them with care. Gosh. Doesn't every, anybody care for books anymore? Hi, Tyrael. How was your haul? <laughs> it's like, are you just gonna, The type of guy that just always brings up, like, a taboo subject. Hey, man, remember that time you absolutely destroyed your life in that car accident, killing a family of four? <laughs> great times. The party was great. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Honestly, you'd just be the worst kind of person. I don't do that, though. Oh, you're saying if I did do that? Yeah, I'm saying if you did. I mean, like, if you're trying to tell me something, Sham, I mean... Carla, the merchant. Why is she so... I thought you were about to say Carla, the murderer. Like, why are we buying stuff from her? Look at how lurky she is. Zoom in on her real quick, like, really close. Like this? Yeah, like that. Eh, Look how yeah, creepy she is. She's kind of creepy. She's pretty creepy. That stance is what does it. Um, did you know that uh, in the Hidden Camp, there's another merchant, except she's called Squirt the Meddler? Cannot talk for long. No. Yeah. Let's go visit her. You wanna go visit her? Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Wait, no, I don't care enough. Okay. I, I need to find things to step You know what? Out. What the hell? We just walked right through it. Well, shit, I guess, uh, logic doesn't apply to me. Let's just go ahead and Oh, wait, can I- Oh, no, I can't step on these mice for no reason, even though I can step on everything else. You can't step on me. Don't tread on me. Don't tread on me. You don't know me. Oh, yeah, so what'd you think of the, uh, the, the music video for, uh... For, uh, everyone wants to rule the world. I really like that. NSP is, uh, they made a nice video. Um, it was a really, really chill thing to watch. Everyone seemed really happy in the video, and the song was a song that I like, so I think they did it justice. I like how everyone except, uh, except Brian and Danny wore masks. I thought that was it yeah. just, just kind of cool. It wasn't, like, too stupid, but it was a nice detail. Yeah, because, you know, they're still, like, trying to keep the feel. I think that's, like, um, I think that's the, ah, you're forgetting. I think it was like TWRP, which is kind of like the people that actually like do the cover of the music, because obviously um, Dan and Brian can't do that all themselves. Right. So they kind of like help with the cover and things like that, and that's just kind of like their thing. But uh, yeah, like I, I'm looking forward to seeing like the other music videos for the album um, if they plan on putting out like you know more. Uh, honestly, like I'm actually thinking about just like just getting the album myself, which is a very rare thing for me to do. Get actually. the autographed album. The autograph of, yeah, let me just send him my copy to Los Angeles. He's like, hey, Dan, Brian, you want to sign this for me? Wait, weren't they giving autographed albums? Uh, probably. But I believe that was a, like, a limited time deal. Oh, you should check and see if it's still there. That'd be cool. Yeah, you know, just get, get signed by my favorite Grump and Brian. By Sorry, Brian. <laughs> Brian's a real ninja, okay? Yeah, a real ninja. Also, <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you saw the beginning of the, the, uh, the video. But, um, where it showed, like, Ninja Brian, and he was taking off the mask. No, I did not. Okay, like, for whatever reason, like, I thought he was gonna pull Kakashi, and just, like, have another mask underneath his mask as he was taking it off. Like, I was fully expecting it, and it was like, okay, okay, and then, like, he starts taking it off, like, I see skin, what is going on here? What's I'm confused. Going on? I was confused that there wasn't another mask. Something that is abnormal, I thought was odd that for it to not be there. That's funny. <laughs> See, that's also another thing that I was like, like, you know, you can be abnormal up to a certain point, but then after that, normal becomes abnormal. Mm -hmm. 
So then that's how you switch things up, because you can't always be weird. Sometimes you have to be normal in order to continue being weird. Very true. Very contradictory ideas, but it makes sense. Because if people get accustomed, then that becomes a new norm. Not norm. Norm. Yeah. I can English. Oh wait, you never answered that question. What question? Who would you have write your story, and who do you think writes it right now? Okay. I, I'm a, okay. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Like, how many authors do you think I know? That's a good point. You can't read books. It's not that I can't read books. It's that I choose not to. <laughs> I can very well read. I'm very literate. I'd like to think that. That. Never mind, I'm not gonna finish that thought. Why, is it racist? No, it was, It just wasn't developed enough to stay. Hold on, let me think. Damn! Some. Fuck their day up. I need more discipline. Who do you think, though, if you had to choose somebody to write? Um, the only authors I know is like, um, do poets count? <laughs> My well, life's just one I didn't book. choose a real author. Okay, yeah. That's I chose a, a writer for a game, and then I chose some made-up character. We should not well, then, I would probably want someone like, uh, Koji Kondo, well, no, not Koji Kondo, but, um, Chiguro Miyamoto, because his sense of adventure is kind of my style, but as for who writes it now, um, shit, dude, uh, that's a really tough question, because I don't know, like, a lot of writing styles from different authors, so where the hell are we going? Enter the forgot- well, if it's forgotten, how are you supposed to know where it is? I forgot. Ah, uh, me too. Uh, let's see. So, who would write by? S I mean, my life is pretty easy going, and no, it's no real conflict. Honestly, I could be writing my own life story just because I'm just that type of writer. So I don't really have any build. Everything just kind of happens. Nothing spectacular is ever going on. A very mundane. Then, author. if you're your own author, you should write a chapter in your book where one day you come back to the dorm and Shamir randomly has superpowers. And Shamir has ran, ran has superpowers. Yes. That's how my story's gonna end. That's how your story's gonna end up. And then how are all of our stories gonna end up connect? Because if my story gives you superpowers, then what about your story? Does your story just tell the tale of like how you just miraculously had superpowers? Because I think the, so, but you have to like force it. You have to force have to force it? You have to force my author to do something about it. So I mean like so I So not only am I a character in my own in my own story. But I'm also the author of my story. Did However, we just come up with a premise for a best-selling book and or movie series? I mean, yeah. Well, I feel like that's. I feel like it's been done before. Has it? I feel like it has. So, or at least. Wait, like, no. Because that would just make you God. How would just make me God? <laughs> Heaven Almighty. Bruce get, Almighty. If you can control every aspect of your life like that, you're basically God at that point. Wait, we dropped something. Uh, well, actually, we're running out of time, so we'll have to pick this up some other time, buddy. No, I'm having so much fun. Really? No. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I figured. Was just, we're just, just I just like sarcastic. talking to you because I'm lonely. Aw. You're lonely, too. You know in the hall outside, they have in front of the RA's door all these pamphlets you can pick yeah. up? Yeah. And one of them just says loneliness, loneliness. on the front. <laughs> yeah, you know, if, you, if, you're, if you have loneliness, pick up that pamphlet. I think it yeah, might be able then, to help you. So I did the pick it up because I was, be your I was so perplexed. I was like, I wonder what could they could possibly have to say in this. So I picked it up, and I started reading it, and then Josh walks out the hall, and he walks by me, and he sees me reading this pamphlet, and I was just had to awkwardly be like, hey, Josh, you know... Just standing in the hall by myself reading this pamphlet about loneliness. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it'd be really funny if the the panel just said, "Oh, we're looking at the pamphlet," then like knock on your RA's door. That's only like two steps away. <laughs> but you won't and, be lonely for long. Yeah. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. This has been Tadashi Pasu and Sham Warrior. You you actually did it properly this time. As I do every time. Lies. And this has been Diablo 3. If you like our content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Next episode, there'll be more things to step on. And we will see you guys in the next video. Keep stepping. Dash Basu, signing out. Cool. What, did you, was I supposed to say something again? You normally do. <laughs> I'm an unpredictable dude. Oh, okay, but then when that becomes... That's what ladies like, is my unpredictable. You literally just, you literally just did one like moment, exactly I'll what be, I described in the episode. <laughs> one moment, I'll be super nice and chill. Next moment, I'll be asleep. Okay. That's the unpredictableness that they love.